Hello and good morning from still Calgary, Alberta. I'm at my free B&B, let's call it, aka my parents' house. And today the goal is to pack for my trip. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know how long I'm gonna be gone for. And I'm already such a type A perfectionist packer that it usually takes me two days to pack for like a three day trip because I just a little bit obsessive in what I'm bringing. So this is super overwhelming because I don't know what to bring. I mean, I do. I've been creating a list. I've been watching other YouTubers to figure out what the heck to bring. But I also know that I want comfort. I wanna feel good about myself. So I don't wanna bring things that I'm not gonna be excited to wear. And basically just need to make sure I have everything I need to work on the road. Okay, so my plan of action is to take all my notes from my notebook. I've been watching people who have been backpacking for like a year, who are traveling to Europe, a lot of digital nomads, and just writing down what's in their backpacks. My goal is to take all this and turn it into a spreadsheet because I'm nerdy like that. I'm quite organized, I'd like to say. have now completed electronics, clothing, outerwear, miscellaneous, toiletries, and makeup. In my list, I put everything I desire to bring with me, but I know that I'm not gonna be able to bring everything, so a lot of the things have question marks on them. I know I probably want like one dress, but which dress to bring? I honestly don't even own that many clothes anymore, and I often wear a lot of black, so my goal is to keep my color palette neutral. Okay. This is the current packing pile. I know what you're thinking. You're like, wow, Anna, how are you going to fit all that in this little suitcase and this backpack? I am planning on only bringing carry-on on this trip. And the reason for that is if I'm taking any trains or planes, I want to be super mobile, but also I'm not a huge fan of the big backpacking because you can't find anything in there. I'm okay that I might have to go a little bit slower to carry things a few times. I'm not planning on doing any huge, huge hikes, more living in the cities, working remotely. We've got our pile started just to give us an idea. It'll be easy to pare down. My first part of this process is just going to be dividing things up into categories. Like my mom offered me some shirts to bring and I might be interested in actually bringing them, but it doesn't help when there's just a pile of stuff. So here we go. It's also gonna be really helpful to have a pile of notes. I already know I'm not gonna take this jacket because I'm gonna steal my sisters. <laughs> bought a new vest but I realized a lot of what I'm trying to do is to not buy enough new. I've already bought this camera to start this adventure and I know there's gonna be some unexpected expenses so instead I'm actually going to take this vest from my mom. A quick tip to really just reduce waste and reduce our consumption is ask around. Do people have old coats or old shoes that if they never saw again, they'd kind of be okay with that. That's my goal is not taking my most expensive items. It's about taking things that, you know, if they got lost, I wouldn't be so sad. Of course, if they got stolen as well, and honestly just saving me some money. I just went and picked up the Sony accessory kit, ACC TRD CX, because it has a extra battery for this camera. Also an external charger because I was thinking it through, even if I got a second battery, it charges by plugging the camera into a USB, so that wouldn't be helpful. Right now we have to tackle this pile, like this. I think it's just time to narrow down what are some of my favorite pieces. I am a very particular person when it comes to packing. 
I've already said this, but like this is what stresses me out because I want to make sure I have everything. Being really comfortable and feeling good in my clothes is important to me. I just want to make sure I have options, whether it's cold climate or warm. The best place to start is my dresses. <laughs> favorites for years it's nice and loose i like how the buttons that go down like way down the chest so if i wanted to be a little va va voomy i could but it's nice and loose on the shoulders and i just think like i would wear this out for dinner but i could also wear it with sneakers i am half team packing cubes half team not i'm really good at the marie kondo folding method the kind of tri-fold stacking method in my suitcase is it better just to do that because you can kind of select i just literally unfold my suitcase or do i go packing cube style we're gonna do a little tetris game and see what we can fit Samsung, if you're watching this, I really wish this piece of material swung to the outside of the bag so that when I open this side, I'm not covering this side. Okay fam, here's where we're at. Almost everything I need. This is miscellaneous, some shoes, pants, short slash skirt, outerwear, pajamas, dress and bathing suits, bras, more shoes, sweaters, shirts, shirts. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, like Molly, that's a lot. And I agree, it is a lot. But for me, it's really helping to visualize. I'm definitely a visual person. You probably guessed that already with my packing list. The only thing I'm missing out of here is underwear and socks, toiletries, and my electronics. So one outfit I'm gonna be wearing on the plane, which will most likely be a pair of sneakers, a pair of pants, a shirt, a sweatshirt, and my jacket. Probably my toque as well. And if you're not from Canada, a beanie is what we call a toque. Or a toque is what we call a beanie. You know, a winter hat. Good morning. Opening up the window a bit. It is day two of packing fiasco day. If you're looking for a face sunscreen that doesn't make you itchy or eczema prone like myself, this is a super goop glow sunscreen. It's tinted, so I feel like I'm looking a little tan today. A little heavy on the bronzer too. But I washed my makeup brushes before I'm traveling, so I did that yesterday. Today's goal is to pack. To like pack as if we're leaving in an hour tomorrow, whenever. All right, step one to reduce this pile is to choose what I'm wearing on the plane. A comfortable bra. I think we're gonna go for the striped top because it's just nice and fun, goes with the pants. I'm gonna wear my thickest sweater. Then we're gonna go with my um, cargo pants. I love these because they have pockets on the side and they're thicker than my on the fly pants. We're gonna wear my jacket, which could also be a pillow. I think my plan of action now is to fake pack my backpack, including electronics. Cause I know electronics and toiletries, I want to go in my backpack, that's priority, including my thermos and my water bottle. And then I'm gonna see how much room I have left for clothes in my backpack. The intention was that maybe a few clothes would fit in there, um, but I have like a tote bag, a purse, there's a lot of stuff. And I know I need to reduce, like I already can tell. For example, here we have socks and intimates, we'll call it. But you can see how big these thick socks take up. But I am a person who loves to sleep with socks. But I think because we're going to a warmer climate and I'm not wearing any boots, I think we'll just have to bring two pairs. So I feel like this is coming out and a bathing suit could go there instead. And as well, I think we're going to take out this long sleeve. I am bringing like a fleece and another sweater. Like three sweaters I was planning on. So I think we're going to take that long sleeve out. I think other people when they pack they probably think about just space and not looking a certain way when they're doing this kind of trip but for me it's like really a confidence thing. I think if I feel excited to get dressed every day I'm more likely to like get dressed, put on makeup and feel good about myself um, and everyone's different but for me having confidence throughout the day will be important especially traveling solo. got eyebrow pencil, concealer. These are the Milk Little Bronzers. I also have the Milk Little Blush. Highlighter. Got Waterproof Mascara. And also the Ilia, just regular mascara. Just 
looking mighty good. But I do have some brushes I want to bring. So we have found this larger one. It's like just slightly larger. I can fit my brushes in it. And the funny thing is, we never get through a lot of makeup. So it's funny, I've had this blush for a long time, keeping a mind travel in the future, but I haven't even used a lot of it. So I really think that all makeup should be made in smaller quantities because we don't use it all. We made progress. This is my liquids bag and a new toothpaste. We've got face wash, eye drops, contact lens solution, hand sanitizer. This is a SPF sunscreen, a little eye cream, the poly's worn. This is my little first aid kit. This is all my other toiletries, so my toothbrush, hairbrush, Q-tips, retainer, because <laughs> you still gotta wear your retainer. Dry shampoo, shampoo, body wash, but I'm doing bars of both. And this is my makeup, which I'm quite proud of. A cool thing about this backpack, this is the Osprey Ophelia. And at the very front, They've built basically a waterproof lining where your liquids are intended to go into. So that means that when you go through security or you fly and in case something explodes with the pressure, it shouldn't affect the rest of your backpack. So luckily my liquids fit in there. And now we're just gonna pack this backpack, see what can fit and then see what kind of room we have for clothes so that we can finish the suitcase that's over there. Got our laptop. I'm taking a portable keyboard because I will be doing work on the road. This is a laptop stand. I'm bringing my straw, including my straw cleaner and my reusable cutlery that folds nice and together. This is my reusable tote bag, cleansing wipes. Mom just bought me some, even though I had a pack. So we're gonna put the newer pack at the bottom. Actually, I'm gonna put these on the front. This pack is open and just in case it explodes. We've got a towel in here vitamin C packs that I can use up as I go. Also, we got the True Earth Eco Laundry Detergent Strips in fresh linen on my vitamins. Got some masks. I'm gonna put them in the stasher bag because I wanna bring the stasher bag with me. The backpack is packed. The suitcase is zipped, but there's still some items on the floor, including this camera. So let's do a little play-by-play -play of where we're at. We've got our fanny pack, which is like very personal pack. This bad boy is full and heavy. This is a 30 liter, the Osprey Ophelia bag. It is closed, it is full, and it is squished full. Makes me nervous. And then what we have left, which I'm quite proud of, so I just need to readjust. I think we need to get rid of like one or two items. We've got one long sleeve, a second long sleeve, a pair of sneakers, a shoe bag that they were gonna go in, another shoe bag that I should be using, my ball cap. I was gonna wear these shoes on the plane, but now I'm like, do I just wear my sneakers instead? Leave these bad boys at home? I don't know. So we only have one pair of sandals packed, but I'm quite proud of that. Like I just have my phone, which goes in my fanny pack and a few things behind me charging. We're gonna reopen the bags, see what we can get rid of still and what's left. Now I know jeans may be controversial to be packing, but for me these jeans I know I'll wear probably four times a week. And uh, they're lightweight, they're comfy, they're super stretchy, they're from Amy. I'll link them in my description below and I definitely think they're gonna be worth it. I finally have packed for Europe just carry on this is one bag and this is the second bag and I think that's gonna be it I leave tomorrow tomorrow morning around 6 30 I think we're leaving yeah 6 30 a.m. so we have to finish the final pack <laughs> I think if I have to lie on my suitcase <laughs> 
It's still too full. I even took out a pair of shoes. I'm starting to get really frustrated. It closes, but I'm really nervous that if everything isn't in the exact same spot when I have to repack, my next trip is to New York and then beyond that, I'm actually going to Spain, spoiler. I just don't know if I need to play Tetris again or I literally need to get rid of something because I already got rid of a pair of shoes. I'm just nervous about it all fitting. Let's play Tetris again. but you basically can't because you leave the next day and even though I spent all Saturday and Sunday trying to figure this out it's obviously not working luckily it's 10 to 7 here and I'm trying to go to bed early but I've given myself enough time to not panic and figure it out cheer me on if you've ever felt the same way please comment below that you have so I know I'm not alone in this however how cute is this fanny pack my friend got me and if she's watching she knows who she is which i'm really excited about because it has a stitch canadian flag this was part of the olympic and lululemon partnership i like it because it's a little bit more padded inside it can be worn as a fanny pack i have done something this is what i have done oh, look at that bad boy so it closes now without stress which is amazing um, i can close it it's like this much open I feel better about that. We're ditching the ball cap, which I may regret later. All right, friends, that concludes this packing vlog. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are newer to my channel or haven't subscribed yet, I really hope that you do by clicking this button. It really helps to just sustain my channel. You can also support me by low by buying me a coffee because I like coffee. I'm already out of breath. We haven't even left yet. But thanks for watching. I hope you have a great evening and we'll see you next time. I just filmed for like five minutes. <laughs> And didn't hit record. Oh shoot. <laughs> Almost just tripped. Well, it's TSA but in the US. I don't even know what we call it in Canada. TSA as well. The holy guacamole is happening, this building. <laughs> I have friends. It's super cute. The money's already gone. <laughs> this bad boy. It's good that I can lift it still. <laughs>